Hello everyone. So there was a question recently on the community about uh, accessing the board information using REST API. Now, this question is from Sina Sultani, and the question is that if you have a board in uh, your uh, Jira software, uh, I mean for, for your Jira software project or for, for, for basically any kind of project, but if you have a board in Jira, for example, in, in this case, if you're talking about Kanban board, in in a board, you know, you would normally have columns like in progress, to do, done, on hold, whatever columns that you may have configured. Now, the requirement, the, the requirement here is that you want to fetch this information about the columns using REST API. Now, this is definitely possible. And first of all, I want to do uh, a bit of promotion. <laughs> so if you look at uh, my website, not a promotion, but I'm just trying to point to point you to the right direction. So if you go to my website, revisaga.in, and if you go to Mastering Jira REST API, you will find a lot of examples where I have shown how to do things with Jira using REST API. And if you talk about boards, this is something that I have done in the past. So for example, you can actually fetch the board information. Or, or I mean, when, when we talk, I mean, we're talking about board, and board is basically part of Jira software and uh, there are separate APIs for it. And for doing that, you need to use this uh, endpoint, which is REST Agile 1.0 board. And for doing that, I will, of course, show you how it works. So this is my Jira instance, and uh, I will uh, maybe open one of my, one of my uh, board's configuration. So for doing this, I need to basically use this endpoint called REST Agile slash 1.0 slash board. So what this will do, so it didn't work. <laughs> so REST Agile 1.0, do I need to use Jira here? Maybe not. Yeah, so we don't need to use Jira here. So basically this is the list <coughs> of all the boards that I have. And maybe we want to op open the same like board in Jira. So right now we're talking about this particular board, which is EP board and uh, the ID is 19 and right now in total, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I just have 20 boards, so not really a lot, but if you look at the um, boards here, you can actually find all the boards and uh, this information is something that we have fetched simply using uh, the um, REST API. And of course, if you want to know the ID, if you hover your mouse on top of edit settings, for example, or if you click on edit settings, it will take you to this URL with 21 uh, here. For example, if I look here 21, so 21 is this AN board. And now if we have to fetch the information about the columns, so let us look at the column here and we have in progress done. Maybe I'll add one more column here called uh, in review and I'll map this in review. So basically what we need to do for board number 21, we need to know the columns. And for doing that, and by the way, if you click on this, if you further pass in the board ID, it will give you the actual board. But if you pass, or if you use this uh, endpoint called configuration, this will actually give you the details of uh, what you have just done. For example, the list of columns, right? So if you now take a look at this endpoint, and if you Basically, the, the endpoint is REST Agile 1.0 board 21 configuration slash configuration. And you have the, basically the column config here, which will tell you all the columns. And very simple, right? But definitely useful. So that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.